Hello there, come on in. Listen, isn't it great? The clock's going back. Welcome to winter. Um, yeah, in a way, today, which is the Sunday, it's kind of my New Year's Day. Apart from the 1st of September and uh, when the clocks go back, they're my happy days. Anyway, now look, at, I'm very sorry about last week and um, not being able to do the, uh, the film from Old Woman's, but we literally didn't have the bandwidth because we are dependent on next door's um, Wi-Fi. Also, Old Woman was quite contrary. If I say to old woman, I want you to sit down and talk to me and have it be filmed for the Twitter. She goes, no, Marion, no, no, just no. And I say, why, ma'am? She goes, no, I'm not getting, no, just no, I'm not doing it. You know, so you have to kind of do it sneakily. And then that isn't really ethically correct, is it? You know, to be doing that to a, to a person and putting them on the Twitters and on the Internet, again, their will. Then, I mean, it was mayhem in her house. We actually had two separate goes. On Saturday we had Emma, Luca, Teddy and Hannah and their assorted minders in, in the house with the old woman. And then the following day we had Dylan and Oscar and and Rutan and Jimmy and old woman. And uh, I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know, like I missed them and everything. But God almighty, they're exhausting. Like, it's very nice here in London where it's peaceful and and people don't be saying, will you give me a lift to the such and place? And, no, I mean, I, I don't mean that. I mean, like, I adore them. Like, I love them. But I was feckin' flattened both days afterwards. Mind you, we had been in Madrid, which was absolutely lovely because I got my reward and himself might show you a picture or something. Lo siento, no hablo español. Um, gracias por el premio. Or I'll put it in my newsletter or something. And the whole thing was very nice. It was immensely glamorous. Like, everyone there was really fabulous looking. And the whole room, like, the theme was red. I don't really know why, but it was. And we all had to wear something red. Um, but the room was incredible. And it was in this fabulous... Um, park and you know like Madrid is fabulous and I love my Spanish editor you know we um I just really like her you know when you just get on with someone and it just makes everything easier and uh, so now we're back in London for a few days but then on Thursday I'm going to that there Norway um for a literary festival I just have to check Haugesund is that the name of the place Skudenes Haven Goodness, have I don't know anything really about it. I mean, it, it isn't it isn't up there with the giant literary festivals. But I wanted to go because Norway, you know, and uh, I have been so excited for months about this, and I've been kind of stockpiling clothes for incredibly cold weather. But now himself tells me it's going to actually be colder in London than it is in Sudanus Haven, which I'm gutted about. You know, and I've been there like with the thermal underwear and the silk socks and the, the hats for sleeping in and and that's gonna be feckin' warmer than London. Do you know what I mean? Um so I've been scribing away and um do you know it's an owl slog, lads. I mean everybody's job is an owl slog, you know, like work, like the clues in the name. But I've been trying to remember those things that I tell other people, which is that you don't have to write the entire book today. Um, and that like, if you keep putting one word in front of another or after another, I don't know really what order they go in, but like they'll eventually add up. But I have many, many separate storylines going. And it's important that they're all proceeding at the same pace, because you don't, I don't want you, the reader, to be thinking, geez, that was a bit jerking, Christ, where did that come from? You know, it's all got to be flowing along at the same speed. And that involves fecking around, basically, fiddly, fiddly stuff. Anyway, sure, look it. You know, uh, I've done it with other books. I can do it again. But sometimes, I'm only saying this if you are a scriber or whatever you're doing, sometimes it's daunting. That's all. Um... And it's worth it. It's worth doing the fiddly stuff. Because then, at the end, if you have a book and you think, there's nothing more that I could have done to make this okay, then you can kind of go, it's out of my hands now. 
uh, is that being wise? I don't know. All right, I'm going to show you books. Right. The New Tana French, The Witch Elm. It's out in the, the US of R now, and it won't be out here in this part of the world until next February. Now, loads of people got sent a proof of um, the, the British version, and I didn't. And it's not that I mind, and it's not that I feel overlooked or unimportant or anything. But somebody on Twitter, a beautiful woman called Ema O'Shea from Ireland, um, had bought it in Boston. And so she sent it to me. And I am so grateful to her because it is brilliant. All her books are brilliant. She's a genius. Like she is such a superior writer. This is another one of those. I mean, I mean, you could call it crime, but it transcends genre. Like it is brilliant. Everything she has done, Tana French has done, is brilliant. And I enjoyed it so enormously. And you have such a treat for you um, in, in February when it comes out here. But you probably knew that anyway. I mean, she's so well known and so well respected. Right, I'm putting it down now. Right, this is Milkman, the Anna Burns, which won the, um, the Booker. And it's just fantastic. Like, I mean, it's very funny. And there was some talk that it wasn't accessible. It's so accessible. Like, she writes like you're inside her head. And uh, I mean, apart from being, as well as being funny, it's incredibly, I mean, it's tense because it's set, I think, in Derry um, during the, 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 the 1970s. And just that, that kind of visceral fear of living in a divided community. Um, and just the, the terror of saying the wrong thing. But I'm making it sound like it's a grueling read and it's a tense read, but it's also, it's wildly entertaining and, and moving and interesting. And it's about being a woman, you know, it's about, I mean, God, it's hard enough being a woman, but in, in a country or, you know, a, a place where like there's a war going on, women, women suffer even more than they do normally because they're treated like the possessions of their community but it sound i'm making it sound pretty it's not it's i'm just really 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 enjoying it and you know it's it's one of those pacey reads like i really 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 recommend it there you are so i've nothing really else to tell you except uh i'll be back from norway on sunday and uh hopefully then we will do our our film next Monday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I know who went in Strictly. And yes, I am happy about it. And people have been scolding me on Twitter and saying, let it go. And they didn't kill anyone. And, and the thing is, I'm entitled to my opinion. You know, I recognize that we live in a world where we don't always agree, but I don't try and change anybody else's mind. You know, I kind of go, all right, you don't agree with how I think. But I'm not going to, to pester you or shame you or be at you. Um, you know, and I wish people wouldn't do it to me either. Because I'm feckin' delighted he's gone. Because he's a scuzzy old scuzzball. And, uh, and I'm feckin' glad and good enough for him. And I don't care if Katya's choreography is fantastic. I'm glad he's gone. Um, my friend um, S, who was not on um, Twitter, messaged me on the Facebooks last night and uh, said, his, tr his trousers have just made me got, get sick in my mouth. I felt a bit like that too. Anyway, I'm delighted. Not everybody will be. But um, why can't we all just get along? Why can't we all just agree to disagree? Anyway, um, I hope you're well and that you're enjoying the dark evenings. November is my favourite month, apart from September. I know it sends a lot of people into a decline. I am sorry, I am. You know, um, I wouldn't wish for anyone to suffer. But if you could take any comfort in that other people are happy, then I can assure you that I am. Also, I'm so happy that Miggledy got elected again. Yoo-hoo! Um, largest mandate ever, um, which is fantastic. A left-wing a left, a left feminist poet, um, 70, 70, 70, 77 year old man, is now our president again, and I'm really happy. Anyway, um, bye. Thank you, bye.